Now we will start chapter 10 called Practical Services Department. We will call it the Everyday Service Department. The Practical Services Department does not include functions that are really related to the basic concerns of the congregation. Instead, it focuses on helping the other departments do the work of the church. Which committees we include in this department will vary among congregation. We will give you some examples of the duties of the Practical Services Department. Each of these is a separate committee. First, Financial Committee manages the financial affairs of the church. Two, Trustee Committee takes care of the church property. Three, Office Committee manages the church office. Four, Library Committee supervises the church library. Often it may be preferable to make these committees in some other department. For example, the stewardship chairman is not the treasurer. He does not write checks or count the collection money. However, it is possible to put the finance committee in the stewardship department. It is especially true of smaller congregations where we want to keep the numbers of offices low. In this chapter we will discuss the duties of each committee. Then your congregation can decide if they belong in the practical services department or move them. The finance committee handles all the money collected for the work of the church. This is a very responsible job. This committee will have the treasurer of the congregation as its chairman. It will have an assistant treasurer and financial secretary, plus other people as counters and recorders for each worship service. The committee meets each year. The representatives of the stewardship department and other departments that offer programs to prepare a spending budget. For this, they need the pledge total from the stewardship department as well as the money needs from each program. The committee takes care of all the money received and pays all bills. It arranges to invest money appropriately. It also encourages gifts and loans to the Synod's Church Extension Fund. The treasurer takes care of all the funds that belong to the congregation. He has the authority to sign checks. We will discuss his duties in more detail in the next chapter. The assistant treasurer takes over the role of treasurer when the treasurer is absent. As such, he also must have the authority to sign checks. He will help the treasurer prepare the financial reports. Both of these people should be able to use a computer to run financial programs and to keep records. The financial secretary records all gifts made to the church. He recruits people as counters who record the offerings made at each worship service, both in envelopes and loose money. He then deposits the collection money in a bank and gives the treasurer the deposit slip with a record of coins and envelope money. This way the treasurer never actually touches the money that is collected. Every six months the financial secretary will pre prepare statements for each congregation members showing their gifts and offerings to date. The financial secretary also should be blessed with computer knowledge. This committee should also promote the Lutheran Church Extension Fund and should send representatives to the Aid Association for Lutherans and the Lutheran Brotherhood meetings.